Good night. So we're back with another solo key video here today. Let's see what map we'll be getting. A lot of good maps on this pool. Thorson's probably Villa, and we played Villa twice recently, I'm pretty sure. Actually, yeah, Villa was the map we played the last two times now. That's kind of crazy. So I'm glad we're not playing that again. Maybe some coastline will be fun. Or chalet again. I think we also played this pretty recently. At least it's not Villa, though. I'm always down for some chalet, though. It's one of my favorite maps. I feel like it's one of the best maps in the pool. Who doesn't like some chalet? I'm just going for the jackal here for an annoying ban. I'm fine with jackal, doka B, ying. I don't really play doka on this map particularly, but... I think Jackal's a solid ban. And there's the Ying, like I was just saying. Let's see what they're gonna be on a defense. Is it gonna be the Mira? Is it gonna be the Cade Capcan? Oh Valkyrie, okay. Dang, that's unfortunate too, because I might have actually played some Valk. I was thinking about that right when we got the chalet. Okay, let's get rid of Fenrir. Falk is really good on this map, especially for like the top floor. You could uh put some cams like library side and mezzanine and play below and easily get a C4 kill on someone. It works every time. Or even like default plant. I'm gonna go some echo here. I do have some nice echo cam spots here. I'm gonna put one in library, I'm gonna put one in mezzanine. Kinda like the Valkyrie thing I was saying earlier. I do love Echo's gun, too. We'll see how this goes. The servers have apparently been fixed, but we'll see how this game goes. Somebody has taken like 20 years to load in, so that's not a good sign to start. One day we'll be in the round, maybe. Hopefully you guys are having a good day, though. Hey, there we go. I just had to start talking about something else. Works every time. Always break the glass on your windows. We play this quick before the drones can see it. I think I just seen a drone right there. Yeah. Hey there. Should always reinforce the left wall right here, then have like some holes in the middle too, and then reinforce the very right one. This one right here for cover on the big window if you're playing in this little room. There's another drone there too. I didn't even see that one. Or I did see. I think I did see that one originally. I thought it was the one that jumped down because they were both blue. But regardless, we'll take it. Oh no. Trying to get a good spot here for this. I'm going to be playing below in stock. If they jump in, I can literally shoot them from the hat. That's why I impacted that. Nobody ever expects that, but that's a good way to hold the big window. If they don't break the little window, then I can just impact below it. Or if they do break it later, I'll impact below it and hold that too. They hacked my drone with Bravo. Well, that's unfortunate. Trying to see if I can like see the drone. Hopefully they don't know where my other yokai is on mezzanine. That would suck. Of course they're on a Brava. They see me in the prep phase. Nice, we got the mute and the tuber off for the breach. That's good. They haven't broke big window yet. Still a 5v5, which is I'm very out of the ordinary for rank these days. Yeah, they aren't even pushing that either, so they're not pushing library, really. I'm sorry, dude, but what was that? You may want to try a different game. Siege might not be for you. 
I, I didn't even hit a single bullet on me, by the way. I'm still 100 health, and I had no idea he was there. He was literally holding flank and missed every shot. So we're in copper. We're not actually, by the way. I'd imagine I'm still playing against, like, diamonds and champs on this account, because that's what we've been, uh, around. But it could be emeralds, too, with rank 2.0. That guy's a diamond player that I just killed. I would be shocked. Little Bravo drone. Good job, team. Not too much action there for us in this round. Just one kill, but got the job done. Shot Sponzi. A common misconception with like kills, like one kill a round is amazing. Like if you can get one kill per round for nine rounds, that's nine kills for the game. That's good. Like you did your part. Even like a point eight kills per round is good. I watch a lot of competitive siege, and like a point seven to point eight is what you're typically gonna be around. If you're getting like 0.5 kills per round. Obviously, that needs to go up a little bit. That's not good enough, especially when you're solo queuing ranked. Like, ranked, you should... If you want to actually win these games in solo queue, you probably should look at it like you need one kill per round. That's, like, the pace you typically will need. Unless you're getting lucky with your teammates. But one kill is all we needed for that one, so one kill per round is great. Got the job done there. I'm taking the cap can here, too. I love playing cap gun on this side for the roam. I'll show you guys some good spots. I'm gonna reinforce a little bit for the team first, of course. Get off the reinforcement for the drone. That's a huge tip too. Like if you're reinforcing and you hear a drone next to you, just get off the reinforcement real quick and shoot the drone first and then get back on it. If you have good enough aim to like hit the drone quick enough. The drones are huge. Yeah, I just wanted to put a couple of cap cans in sight there for later. Especially that deep one on blue that works every time because they never expect it. I hope that guy shot that drone. I'm going to put two here. This is a common entry spot here in games. He didn't get the drone, so they probably know, but too late now. Shooting the glass so I know where they are. I put one here in case somebody, like lurks from the kitchen side of things at me. Ram front door. See if we can get an angle on him, maybe. If they start trying to push in. Good first pick. And a drone on me, of course. Same one, but different color. Alright. Leaving squad. So it looks like the servers are in perfect condition here. Nice. I'm just connecting now. Okay, so I don't know if you can see it, but I'm restarting my Xbox completely right now from scratch. Because I've restarted my game twice. I still can't get in. I don't know what's happening, so hopefully we can be back in a minute here. Okay, so I'm actually loading back up. I think it's working this time. We'll see. You'll we'll see. At this point, I'm hoping I just join back before, like, the fourth round. Like, may hopefully my teammates pulled that basement round together, and then they had lost the offsite, maybe. So we're up 2-1. Okay, yes, I'm reconnecting. Good. It'd be nice if I got him before the third round, but I think it's way too late. So I had to completely restart my console there. Okay, we're joining back. What round is it? Okay, so yeah, it's round three. I was a couple minutes late. I would have been able to play this one. 3v5, not looking good. And my team did lose the basement one. Can they pull this together here? Can Dragon Ninja 97 come up big? Okay, yeah, no, they fell apart. This guy's hitting the quick peaks. Down. They're planting somewhere, I believe. Okay. That was a good try. I actually got a couple good shots. Let's 
Zargs shut them down. Zargs is carrying their team. Well, unfortunately, I'm literally 1 and 0 right now. We're down 1 2 just because of a connection problem. I just got to go crazy. That's why I'm taking the Ash here. I'm not playing around. I'm just taking Ash, going for frags, and we'll see if we can come back here. Chalet is one of the more attacker favorite maps, so I think we have a good shot still. We'll see what happens. My plan is going to be like lurking around the big window, the trophy side of things. You guys know what I do there if you watch my videos before, but if not, I will show you. Usually I can always get like a pick on the big window. I'd say like it's 50-50. This is a good pre-placed drone right here though. You can completely cut off the flank. If anybody like trying to come behind you like a roamer or whatever. And you can sit on the trophy window if you see them coming back and it's a free kill. Charge this, maybe I can get a freebie. There's a freebie right there. That castle barricade gives them an added sense of protection, but I can quickly just uh, blow it up and they don't even hear it until the last second because of the glass that was on the window still. It's a freebie. It's 5v2 already too. I'm just going to come in here, I think. I don't think they know I'm back here. Mutant sight. My timing, man. I was just watching that, though. He just sprinted away. I don't know what my team's doing here. They could have easily killed that guy going through the rotate, but... Alright. If we lose this round... No way. Okay, nice. Teammates clutch it up at least. That would have been truly unfortunate if we lost that round still. I made a nice little play there for two that round. That was basically our second round of the match and it's 2-2. Two -two. So if I play the round, we win. If not, we lose. That's how it's gone so far. I'm guessing they're going to be back up top, so we'll be doing the same strategy here. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll mix it up and come in somewhere else too, though, later. We'll see. It depends how much pressure they have on me in the back. They might not even know, like, I entered there. Because I came up there so late after, and it was already a 5v2. So I might try that again, actually. Yeah, they went back up top. Not surprised. I'm guessing I won't be able to get a freebie on the big window, though, this time. I'll have to assume. That's usually like a one-off thing. You do a first round, but after that, not really.
Always make sure to claim all your window and your door off down here too. For this repel. And watch out too, somebody could like a roomy punch this in one hit. Right when you're putting your claim or that has happened to me before. So I'm always wary now. Glass is still up. That's a neat little trick to get an angle in, but I feel like they're gonna be watching that now, so I don't wanna risk it. Yep, they just shot it. Let's open that up and get out of there. That's a neat trick though to make no sound. Just shoot the same piece of the barricade twice from a little below. So the glass doesn't break. Okay, I'll keep switching back and forth on my drones. This will be my active one here. Just make sure nobody's down here, like, chilling. I think we're looking good. I'll draw on the stairs now. I'll keep switching back to this other drone to check my flank. Oh my god. Got a double goo mines on the stairs for me. Oh, my team can work on there. All four are there, so they should have all the attention. Wow, there are a lot of goos. That's four more. They really don't want me coming up here. Maybe my suppressor, they won't even hear this. There's only one more. Try one more time. I know that guy didn't expect that. Downed him too, man, right when the mute swung me. That's unfortunate. I don't know how, the, like, there's so many back there on me. That was three people on me. The doc, or whoever that was first that I killed, then the legion that I downed, and the mute. Like, that's three people. I'm having a 1v3 on the back, while four people are pushing the front. Which means there are only two people holding off my team here. Well, Maya and Mozzie. So, like, how can my team not break through two people? That's the real question there. Just so lucky stuff, though, maybe they'll be able to attack the basement better. To be fair, that was their second time holding that, so they were probably more prepared. They were holding, like, a library down, it looked like, from where that one Maya was playing, at least. So my team was really struggling. Yeah, that dock. I, if that was a dock, I don't know if it was. I think so. The headgear was weird, but whoever that was, I know they were surprised when I came back there. The Legion probably told them there were like eight goo mines on the stairs. So you're good. Don't worry about it. And I just used my suppressor to shoot them all while they were focusing on all the gunfire and chaos from the front. Yeah, they're basement. You do see this right too. I'm taking the armor. I'm getting in fast here. I'm making the play. I'm gonna fly right into big window, I think. Then so get top floor control real quick. Let me get a pre-placed drone for myself. I'm going to bring it over here a little bit more. I feel like there's going to be people playing over here, so I want the drone set up before I get there. So I can just check it real quick and then keep entering. So I'm going to be going over to that side. Spawn peaks. We're looking good here. I'm going to get as close as I can before I fly in. He's one health. A little pre fire. That's the carry, too. That I just killed. That's huge. Ram's trying to enter over here, too. Okay. Let me get a drone going on. Hello there.
I don't know what that guy was doing there. He wasn't even looking at me. Get a drone here on blue. 5v3, we just can take the slow here. No need to be aggressive. The team's working the front, so I'm going to try to flank blue, I think, like right when they're executing. Nice. Let's kill ourselves with our own ram tanks. Good stuff. I don't even know how that's possible. Oh, they planted. Okay. Guess I need to get going, then. That guy's 1 HP. Okay. Yep, that was an ace right there. So I guess my teammates down the frost that I hit to 1 HP. I'll take that. Or rebies. Did I down the frost? I'm pretty sure I heard her gun, but maybe that was Thermite's gun that was shooting. It was kind of glitched, so I can't tell what gun it was, but maybe I downed the frost. You know, if that's the case, the frost is probably like, no, don't revive me. He's right behind us. No, no. Who knows, though? I'm going to try the Nook this time. I can't do the same armor play. They're going to be upstairs anyway. I'd have to imagine, at least. Because that didn't go very well. My teammates got that plane down quick. I like it. I see they were on like the front side about to go for it, but they got it down before I could even make it down blue. Got the job done, though. I came down right when they were least expecting it. That frost was just pushing out. Quick little ace for me on the armor. That play worked. That was for sure the play. Yeah, this time I'm going to try to get in sneaky down low in the basement with Nook. Again, just fast map control. That's kind of what I did with Amru there, but the opposite floor. So since they're upstairs now, I'm going to try to do the same thing with Nook, but in the basement. Um, I'm actually going to come in Snowmobile Garage here. This will be a good pre-placed. I do need breach charges, though, instead of grenades to get in. I'm going Nook, too, so I don't have to worry about cameras when I'm coming up blue or if I'm coming up main. I think blue is going to be my entry point, though. If everything goes right. I doubt anybody's going to be down here, but I will be careful and drone just in case. There's literally no downside to droning it. No downside at all. You have three minutes to drone. That's what it's for. Just listening to sound there. Don't hear anything. I think we're good. I'll check it again after. Hey, there's somebody above me for sure. Checking this area out for like runouts or whatever. Good night. I knew I heard something. That's their carry again, too. 5v3. We're looking good. There's another one above me. Oh, there's for sure one above me. Okay, you know what I'm going to do instead? I'm going to go to West Main then, where I know it's free probably, because there's only two left besides this guy above me. So just taking the numbers. Get past this before it sees me. Yeah, he was just pinged. Good job, team. We had a nice little entry pick. Well, not an entry pick because it was the second, but kind of. Is that mute again? He was down there, like trying to. We're all in the basement with mute. That was interesting. He was reading me like a book, but I read him like a book better. 
That was a huge kill too since it was the carry. If he killed me instead, that would have been a completely different round. It would have been 4v4 and he would have had the flake potential there on my team. Huge pick from us. What do I want to do here? We're back in the upstairs. I'm not going to do the echo thing again because they're just going to hack it with Brava. You know what? I'm just going to go to the old reliable with my... It's match point in OT. I just want to win this game. I've been going crazy in the kills. So let me just take another gun. See if we can get the job done here. I would like to win on this one and not have to attack again. Ideally. Our attacks have been good, but I'd rather not have to do it again on match point. I feel like my randoms would crumble. Just making the head holes for the team. That's why I always take this pistol over the other one. You can make holes way better with this one. Glass. Legion reinforced that, yeah. Break all the glass for the team since I don't have much else to do in the prep phase. Nobody's made a rotate. Maybe I should have taken the impact. There we go, Legion. I'm throwing some Magnus down before I leave. I'm going to play library side again here. This is what I like doing on this uh, site. Some reinforcements down. I'm actually glad I took the proxes because now I'll know if they come blue. Get a huge sound cue with that prox there. Let me try to go on main too. I think we're good. They might be doing like a hard solar clear. There were two over there. It's also 4v3. Nobody's coming library, which is huge. I can just play back here. This is why you reinforce this wall right here. I was talking about this earlier. 4v2, okay, our team's going crazy. <laughs> that dude left the game, let's go. He's mad. The Yana downstairs still. How did this get destroyed? One's main balcony, okay. I hear this guy. Come on. Is that a bait? It's not a bait. I'm shocked he actually used his Gemini there. And didn't just come up. Is he gonna come up main? He was on left side already, okay. Last one's out of there. Do we try to move up on him? I'm coming. Maybe not. Let's not throw this. There we go. Easy little one tap. Something light to win the game. Wow, what a crazy match. We went 12 and 2, and I missed two rounds. That's crazy. We won five rounds where I was here, and we lost one round. So we basically won 5 to 1 in my books. That was a complete demolition that entire game. Our biggest enemy was the servers. Quite literally. GG to Zergs. He was doing good on their team. He was the last alive there again, too. He was kind of carrying them. He was really carrying them. It was unfortunate that I opening picked him a couple times there near the end. So once he was dead, it was GG. How much are we getting still? That's silver four on this one.
Yep, still 113. That's just how it works. We are playing high elo games. Our hidden matchmaking is super high. It's like Emerald Diamond Champs that we play all the time. I don't think I play anything lower at this point, so that is why that is. So we'll be getting over 100 for quite a bit still. I'll probably be like flat. I'm still getting 100, I'd say, at this rate. I've only played like 11 games. I'm already silver four. We also got three packs, I know, because of the... Uh, Oh my god, I got the 10 win loss. Let's go. 10 win loss, 3 KD. Well, we're silver already. Not too shabby at all. Let's open these packs for you guys, though. I know because the servers, this is like compensation for it. Oh, it's a cool lion skin. I should like that. Let's equip that. Yeah, I like how the servers were fixed, though, and then that happens first match for me. Maybe, maybe it was my internet or something. I don't know, but that was weird. I could not join back either. What is this? That is so pay to lose. They'll see you from a mile away if you're trying to like hang glitch something or whatever. So I'm not equipping that. They also gave you like 10 battle pass tiers, I think. So that's nice. But if you guys enjoyed this or found it helpful, leave a like down there below. That really helps me out. I try to give you a lot of tips and rack my brain a little bit while I'm playing. I try to always talk about what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. And subscribe if you're new. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.